In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light, a reflection on the day's readings. It's the 17th of July, Wednesday, 15th week in ordinary time. Today we remember Blessed Teresa of St. Augustine and Companions. They are the martyrs, Carmelite martyrs. Now, we pay attention to the Gospel text of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 27. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to childlike. Have you ever played peek a boo with the baby? They can barely talk, but they rock with laughter when they see your face. It's so fascinating to them that they can play this game long after we adults get bored with it. As children get older, they move on to games like hide and seek. But it's really the same game. Even if they hide in the most obvious places, it's a huge success when the one who is it finds everyone. Children just love to discover and explore. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus tells us that if we want to find him, we need to be like children. That doesn't mean that he considers things like maturity and education to be bad. And neither does it mean that we should treat the spiritual life like a game of hide and seek. But it does show us how deeply Jesus treasures the curiosity and joy of discovery that most children have. Notice, for example, the fact that Jesus makes this prayer immediately after he laments the lack of openness he experienced from the people of Caferna, Chorazin and Bethsaida. They had seen so many miracles, but they just could not see the wonder and promise that they held. So what does this mean for us? First and foremost, it means approaching each day with the sense of anticipation. What will God show me today? How will he surprise me? 
what insight will he give me about his love or about my walk with him it also means committing your day to the lord every morning and telling him that you want to find him there in whatever way he wants to reveal himself jesus wants our walk with him to be full of new discoveries he doesn't want us to be content with what he jesus wants our walk with him to be full of new discoveries he doesn't want us to be content with what we experienced yesterday or what we learned last year instead he is inviting us on an ongoing journey today ask him to give you a child's heart one full of curiosity and eager to know what lies around the next corner in your relationship with him let us pray lord give me a desire to know you better help me to discover you in new ways today may my heart no true joy as i see your hand at work amen brothers and sisters the psalm echoes the theme with the words God will not abandon God's people. God established a covenant relationship with Israel. Both kingdoms since they were descendants of Jacob or Israel. And God will not go back on that covenant even though the people deserve that God should cancel the covenant and even though they have not been faithful to their part of the covenant. God is aware of what is happening to the chosen people of God and God will act on their behalf. Let's pray that psalm now. Your response The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. They crush your people, Lord. and they humble your inheritance they kill the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless child the lord will not abandon his people and they say the lord does not see the god of jacob pays no heed mark this you senseless people fools when will you understand the lord will not abandon his people can he who planted the ear not hear can he who formed the eye not see will he who trains the nations not punish will he who teaches man not have knowledge the lord will not abandon his people the lord will not abandon his people nor forsake those who are his heritage for judgment shall again be just and all true hearts shall uphold it the lord will not abandon his people glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, brothers and sisters, remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Father Anthony Stephen Carmelite, Aaron De Souza from U.S., Francis Joseph from Andheri, Mumbai. Ria De Souza from US, Akash Rodriguez from Bindur, Mangalore, 
Lily Almeida from Bengaluru. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Dennis Rodriguez from Bindur, Mangalore. Edward Tellis from Katipalla. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.